So you know how to attack, but you want attack combos, not a problem. So how do you go from one attack to three? Well, for starters, you go to your third person blueprint, create a variable for a boolean that tells the game when the character is in attack animation, and add an animation montage variable. Make sure it's set to an array, and set it to however many attacks you want in your combo. My combo has three attacks, so I'll set it to three, and drag each of my animation montages into the corresponding array value. Finally, add a new variable that represents the current attack animation, Okay, so we are now at that point where I think most of you know generally how blueprints work, how to right click, create, drag and drop blueprints in. So from this point onward, I won't tell you all how to do that and instead I'll just explain the logic behind these nodes and how they work together. If you watched my last video, your third person blueprint should have an input action for attacking. Now we used to have a play and a montage node, but we have replaced it with a play montage node instead. It should be using the skeletal mesh for this component here. And basically what this does is check if you click the attack button and if you are not already attacking, then go ahead and attack. And at the end of your attack animation, we will be done attacking. And the next time we try to attack, we will start with the first attack. Down here controls which attack attack animation is going to play. So every time you do an attack, it goes to the next attack animation. And this just says if you have reached the final animation in the array, the combo is over, and the next time we press the button, we should do the first one. But if you have not reached the last animation in the array, do whatever the next animation is. So that is what the blueprint looks like. Now we have to decide at what point during each animation can the player start buffering their next move. So go into your first animation montage, find the point you want the player to be able to buffer their next move, and then right click, add notify, name it something like can attack, then right click that notification, copy, go to your other animation montages and paste it in the exact same way at whatever point you think the player should be able to buffer their next move. Now if you go into the ABP Manny blueprint under the event graph, right click and look for the can attack notification that you just put into your animation montage. Drag out a cast to third person character, go up and copy this green thing and paste it down here. Connect it, set the attack boolean to false, then connect it like so. Save, and if you run the game, now you have combos. I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.